Hello friends. Today we are going to see how to install XAMPP and coordinator. First we have to download XAMPP. In Google search for XAMPP. And download XAMPP for Windows. You can also download for Linux and OS. Here you can see the downloading. From here you can install them. These are the components which are given in the XAM. The server, the program language. These are selected by default. You can deselect them as per your choice. Always select the root folder for your exam. Now click on next. Next. After finishing the setup, we will click on we will click on finish. By default, it is selected, so we will click on S. Yes. Now here you can see the exam control panel, and these are the modules: Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury, Tomcat. You just have to start the Apache which is the web server and you can see the status is running and select the MySQL you have to start it so as it is a database server it is also giving status as running you, you can see the configurations for this control panel Click on, click on Apache and MySQL for at the start of these modules. You can see the port numbers of MySQL and Apache. These are selected by default. Same. Same this. Now we will see the installation and the method. For that we have to install coordinator. Here are the two versions. This coordinator 3 is the, the current version, latest version, and coordinator 4 is upcoming version. We will download the coordinator 3. There are previous versions too, that coordinator 2. Here you can see the file of coordinator 3 file. We will copy this file to our root folder where we have installed XAM. In XAM, we will install it in the htdocs, the root folder of XAM. Here you can see the coordinator folder which we have extracted. Inside that, we have applications, ship system, user line. Now we will check whether it have installed successfully. We will go to Google Chrome. We will type localhost slash coordinator. If you get welcome to coordinator page, it means you have installed it successfully. Here you can see the welcome underscore message dot php and welcome dot php. This both .php file you can see in the coordinator. In this application folder, you can see the cache config and controller folder. In controllers, you can see the welcome PHP file which we have seen in Google Chrome. Welcome.php. 
This file has the controller of this welcome underscore message dot php file. And inside the views, you can see the welcome underscore message dot php file. In next video, we will see how to create php file using Codeignators and the configuration of Codeignator. I will provide the links for downloading below the video. Thanks for watching my video.